big day. Yes. Who better to join us than David Dietz and David Barnson is back with us, Susan Lee and David. Ashley Webster. Yeah. Okay, the jobs report. David Barnson, is this a, a good enough platform to launch another big leg up for the overall market? What this is is a reflection of why the market's going, which is the underlying strong economy. That productivity growth number we saw yesterday is a bigger deal than the jobs report is even today. 3.6%, the biggest move in five years. They were expecting 2.2%. That was optimistic. That's why the job growth, Stuart, is so strong. We have an economy that is productive and it is moving and that is consistent straining the inflationary effects of wage growth. Uh, David Barnson, I know you were listening to all of this. Your response to what Mr. Cudlow had to say. Well, you know, Larry is like the Billy Graham of <laughs> supply side evangelism. I mean, his articulation of this accurate generational economic message is unbelievable. And you know, Stuart, that Larry is a good friend of mine, and, and I agree with everything he said. But I want to add to something. You asked him about the deficits, and he said, I think mm -hmm. the CBO has their revenue projection wrong from the growth that we're going to get and what the revenue will generate to Treasury. I want to go back to the Bush second tax cut. 2003, they reduced investment taxes. It was supply side. Guess what? They were off by 50% of what the revenue increase to Treasury ended up being in the couple of years thereafter. This corporate tax cut was supply side. It was effective. And I think they're going to be way off on how much it stimulates revenue growth and reduces deficits. The politics of this jobs report are fascinating. Yes. What will the Democrats say? I'm, uh, not, I'm looking. They're I'm trying to figure that out now, Stu. Well, what do, you, what do they do? Uh, I want to bring David Barnes. Have you got any other nuggets from this report that we should be reporting on? Because it's been just well, got nonstop good news so far. Yeah, I agree. But, you know, you brought up could the unemployment rate get below 3.6%. And I might add that if, let's say, the unemployment rate uh, goes higher, 3.8, 3.9, that could be a very good thing. Because what it would probably mean is that the labor participation force is growing even more. Since President Trump came in, it's been 7 million new people have come into the job market. So the <clears throat> unemployment rate can be a little deceiving because what you want is more people in the job force. And that's what really really fell apart during the Obama years. So many people that just gave up looking for a job. So we have a lot of positive momentum there as well. But I think when, when they brought up a second ago about how these wage growth and job growth benefits are coming through all aspects of the economy, the fact of the matter is when Joe Biden says, Stuart, well, that you're not feeling the benefits. Guess what? Okay, give us a second tax cut then. Because really, this is all from the corporate tax side. The individual tax side, Larry would be the first to say, I know the president would agree, they didn't get what they wanted on the individual tax side. So if you think it wasn't good enough, we'll go do it again. Just repeal salt. Can you just please repeal salt? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't get me started there, Stuart. No, don't get me started you, there, Mr. Bonson. The, the, the way you repeal salt, if the salt impact is bad, then let's talk to the governor of California, where I'm sitting now, and the governor of New York, where you're sitting. Let them lower their obnoxious state rates. <laughs> but I don't think that you need to have the citizens of Texas subsidizing the bad policies of New Jersey, New York, and California. Okay, point taken. Uh, how about this one? Beyond Meat. Remember them? Uh, remember them? How well, could we forget? <laughs> how could we forget? They went public yesterday. Wow, wow. look at that game. The stock today. skyrocketed yesterday. This is not the kind of stock that you would buy, is it, David Barnson? Because I, be, I don't believe that Beyond Meat sell, has a dividend. <laughs> or any profit or barely any revenue. Right. You know, Stuart, I was thinking about this last night as I had a steak tartare appetizer and a double <laughs> lamb chop for dinner. Uh, $87 million of revenue revenue and you have a four billion dollar valuation